you can have improper and proper algebraic fractions, just like we can have um, improper and proper numeric fractions. So proper numeric fractions, numerator is smaller than the denominator. Improper is where the denominator is smaller than the numerator. And so improper fractions can be written as, okay, how many times does three go into five? It goes into once plus another remainder of two. So then there's two thirds remaining. So it can be written as one plus two thirds, which often gets written as one and two thirds. I want to try and go away from this form, but we'll focus more on the one plus two thirds because that they are essentially the same thing. But remember, when we're working with algebra, if we write something next to each other, which is how it's written in the mixed number, it implies multiplication. It implies that one is timesing the two thirds. So that's why I want to try and really steer away from this. OK, we want to try and steer away, steer away from this form. Because one next to the two thirds could imply imply one lots of two thirds or one times two thirds, which is wrong, obviously. Okay, not right. The correct thing is you're adding one plus another two thirds. So this is the better form to work with. So the same can be said for algebra as well. So we've got proper algebraic fractions where the numerator has a lower degree, is a lower order polynomial than the denominator, i.e. something like this, x over x squared plus three. The numerator has a power of one, the highest power, the denominator has a highest power of two, so the new denominator is greater. Improper would be classed as anything where you've got either the same order on the numerator as denominator or the numerator is higher, same or higher. So if you had something where it's written in this form, x cubed over 2x cubed plus 3x, the fact that you've got x cubed on the numerator and denominator would mean that this is an improper algebraic fraction. So it can actually be written in the form of um, this mixed number form that we have, something plus something, which we're going to take a look at in a moment. Um, so also when the power on the numerator is greater, it's obviously improper as we can see here. So first thing here, we've got a few questions. As you can see here, this, the numerator has a higher order than the denominator, so therefore it is an improper algebraic fraction. And we can write in this form. So straight away, when you see something in this form, it means it goes into it this many times. How many times x squared plus x minus 2 goes into that numerator is ax plus b plus c will be the remainder. OK, over x plus t. So it's it's kind of in that same form where you get that fractional remainder it doesn't go into it exactly. So this is the kind of fractional part. And you can always see that with these types of questions as well. So again, this is an improper fraction. It goes into it this many times. And then this is the remainder. This time it's minus C over X plus E. OK, so really understand the difference between proper and improper fraction. So how do you deal with um, writing, uh, doing these types of questions? Well, if it's improper, you essentially have to do algebraic division to find out how many times it goes into it and then what the remainder is. OK, that's what you're doing. You're doing algebraic division, polynomial division. How many times it goes into it? OK, so that's very important to understand. And when you are doing these algebra, uh, algebraic division and the polynomial division, one of the very important things that you need to make sure that you have is you have a placeholder for every single power. So on that first example, we had 2x cubed, x squared, x. We've got all the powers cubed, squared, 1, 0. Even on that second one, we've got power of 4, power of 3, power of 2. Actually, there's a power of 1 missing. 
So I think the second one might be an interesting one. So for instance, if you were to write this, you would have written 4x4 plus 4x cubed minus 23x squared. I wouldn't go to minus 4 here. I need to have a placeholder for x. So I'll write down 0x. And then I'll go to my numeric value minus 4. And this is all being divided by x squared plus x minus 6. So that placeholder, this here, is really important. Otherwise, that you will get certain x terms later on that you won't be able to subtract because you don't have any space for it. So it's very important to have that placeholder when you do the division and to write down everything with powers of fours in that column of powers of fours, everything with powers of, that should have been a power of three, everything with power of three in that column, everything with power of two, including the answers, I would write it in the appropriate place. And that way you keep that placeholder that working with place values and keeping them in the same place. So that's one of the most important thing about algebraic fractions, particularly these improper ones. Obviously, there's other bits where you need to kind of uh, write down in partial fractions, which I haven't really put an example in here, but you can go and look at some of those partial fractions. Those types of questions will likely appear in your exam. OK, 